prison today. It was the result of a plea bargain that sparred Lehman, spared Lehman from potential life sentence. Police say Lehman was drunk when he ran over and killed Whitney Young last November. He claimed he thought he hit a raccoon. We'll show you some of that emotion from today's sentencing on 10 News Live at 630. The issue of same-sex marriage was back in the news today in San Diego. Last week, Mayor Jerry Sanders announced his support of a brief urging the state Supreme Court to legalize same-sex marriage. Our exclusive survey, USA Poll, found 34% of San Diegans support gay marriage, while 37% support civil unions, and 25% don't think gay couples should be given any formal recognition. Today, some city officials in East County made their voices heard. Digital correspondent Sharice Yu is here now with the story. Sharice. Elizabeth, these county officials and school leaders are condemning the recent actions of some San Diego City Council members. They're rallying for traditional marriage and say the mayor's change of heart is sending out the wrong message. I was shocked. I was stunned. Uh, for many of us, we trusted that uh, his word meant something to him. They're furious about Mayor Sanders' recent reversal of his opposition to gay marriage. Mark Price of the Alpine School District is especially disappointed of how the mayor went against voters' wishes. And when we have our elected officials, the people who are uh, elected to serve us, go against their word, live in one way and do something completely different, is wrong. Proposition 22 passed in March of 2000 by 61% of the state's voters. It defined marriage as, quote, a personal relation arising out of a civil contract between a man and a woman. Last week, Mayor Sanders family family revealed his daughter is gay. Friends, he also reversed his stance on gay marriage. Price says it's sending the wrong message to kids. How can we expect our kids to grow up uh, believing that they should be truthful when they've seen all over the news and all over their neighborhoods and all over the community people who think that their word and truth is not as important as it used to be. The group also made it clear they will work to remove any lawmaker or judge who doesn't uphold Proposition 22. If, if there becomes an activist judge that works to overturn Prop 22, we will release that information to the voters. The group says it fights for traditional family values and demand honesty and adherence to ethics in elected officials. It will be interesting how this unfolds, but political analysts say they expect Mayor Sanders' announcement may impact his re-election chances. Reporting live, Sharice U10 News. A war of words between a parent and a school bus driver got physical this morning, and police are now investigating why. The incident took place in the 7th.